Well, the Yankees guys with an interesting hire. Rachel Bokovic is the first woman to be hired as a full-time hitting coach in pro baseball. She's going to be an organizational hitting coach. Mm -hmm. She is, in the past, a strength and conditioning coach with the Cardinals minor league system, the Astros minor league system, and Alan, she played college softball. Does college softball, in terms of that experience, equate to being able to teach pro baseball players how to hit? Look, at home, I have that experience, and that's my wife. My wife, Stephanie, played at North Carolina, and, and I... When I watch baseball, I watch Yankees games a lot, and I'll watch with her, and she teaches me things. Mm. She can watch swings, and she can break down swings. We hear Jessica Mendoza on ESPN do the same exact yeah. thing. So, yeah, it's the same thing. And it's also how much work and study you put into it as well. It's mechanics. You know, some, some things are, are experience-related when it comes to helping players hit. But other things are mechanics, especially today, as they are working with players. So do I think she can be effective? 100% absolutely do think she can be ex effective because of the time she's already put in, but also the experience as a player, being a competitor, but also playing the game of softball. It is the same swing. Agreed on that. I think uh, also when you talk about the time that she's put in, but also the experience, that goes hand in hand. Yep. If you see someone, obviously, this is a grinder and is going to put that work in, you give them that opportunity. It doesn't matter what gender you are, what color you are. If you know that they're going to be successful in that position, that they're going to make your organization, your team better, give them that chance. This one is um, special. I think we're in a really unique time in sports where we're having conversations about qualification outside of gender, but I think we would be naive to act as if, oh, whoever, best candidate wins. Your question, anybody else's question, Rachel has asked herself a billion times over. The people in her circle have questioned her and challenged her. I, and there's no woman who has broken a barrier or stepped into a space that is predominantly men who has not already asked herself, can she be in this position, and then done, gone above and beyond to vet themselves. She's got two degrees, a degree in kinesiology, a master's degree, and she studied physics in Amsterdam. Any, if a man did that, they, they'd be blowing it out of the park. And so we're in an interesting space. I love what Alan said in terms of baseball. The mechanics are the mechanics. Um, every hitting coach in the MLB, I would be willing to bet, did not play Major League Baseball. And so thus it's the same. And look at her resume. And then what are we talking about? The game's about? also changed, too, from the time when a lot of those players had played. So yeah. I do think that her experience will be helpful because there's a lot of for the younger players they're trying to develop. All right. Now, Becky Hammond, of course, is on the San Antonio Spurs coaching staff. And a couple of weeks ago, it was very interesting. Greg Popovich got thrown out. Tim Duncan ended up running the team, not Becky Hammond. And Pop postgame said... He's not interested in making history. I think he did this maybe to, map, to make it a non-story. Because if he had made Hammond the coach for the final quarter plus, it would have been a huge potential distraction. And I think maybe he did this to keep things maybe under wraps, so to speak. I think he answered that question off the top of his head. And that I, I think he blew an opportunity. Um, I think that was a rapid-fire answer. Yeah. Sure, but we've heard Pop make poignant statements on various things well, outside of basketball. Hammond's been there for a lot longer than Duncan. Why wouldn't Hammond get to so the he may, he may have whiffed. He may have legitimately made a mistake. But I don't think in his mind he was like, oh, I'm not going to make this a side it, story. Right. The yeah. argument was that it was Duncan's uh, scout, so he knew the scout, I guess. Mm -hmm. but, but I think the other way to look at it, too, is that when, when, when Becky does break the barrier, which we believe she will, yeah. Let her do it with her team instead of a game like that where it's sort of a, a weird place and whether or not the team's playing well at the time. I think there's a lot of people around the league that do believe that if, if, if that's going to happen and it could happen soon, that she's probably the one that's going to get that opportunity.